A very good evening to you on this third day of December 2013. Many thanks for joining us on our bulletin tonight. I'm all by myself tonight. Wilson Buru recuperating, but he will definitely be better and back with us tomorrow. On our bulletin tonight, we have a lot for you, including the fact that the Association of People with Dwarfism was launched today at the KICC. What are the challenges facing little people in this country? We will be talking about that as well as our exclusive interview with one such star from Kenya who's made it big in Hollywood and talking about what that association will do for people including all of the top stories let's get our bulletin started and we start off at the high courts the row over the appointment of a tribunal to investigate six members of the Judicial Service Commission took a new twist today this after the High Court reinstated the suspended commissioners. In his ruling, High Court Judge Justice George Odunga also barred the swearing-in of the tribunal. Rita Tanina begins our bulletin with the intrigues within the three arms of government. A day after the JSC, through its lawyer Paul Muite, moved to court, seeking to block the swearing-in of a tribunal appointed to investigate six of its members. The commissioners got a reprieve. High Court Judge Justice George Odunga directed that the six commissioners remain in office pending the hearing and determination of their petition. The effect of the grant of the orders of stay hearing will be to stay the suspension of the six commissioners pending interparties hearing of this application and all further orders for the court. The order now bars the swearing in of the Aaron Ringera led tribunal. In his ruling, Justice Odunga suspended last week's Gazette notice by President Huru Kenyatta, removing Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, Professor Christine Mango, Justice Mohamed Warsame, Reverend Samuel Kobia, Florence Mwangangi, and Emily Ominde from office. The premises, I direct that this petition be placed before the honor of the Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya forthwith. The Aaron Ringera Tribunal was yet to be sworn in. Experts argue, technically, it does not exist. And with the fact that the president cannot be sued, questions abound as to who exactly today's orders were directed at. Conservatory orders or injunctions are only directed at the person whose action you are seeking to stop. So if we are seeking to stop an action by the president, then the order can only be directed at the president. If you direct it at uh, somebody else who is not the one whose action you are seeking to stop, then it really is of no effect because that action will still continue. Sources say some members of the JSC were caught off guard by the decision to seek orders to stop the swearing in of the tribunal. JSC lawyer Paul Mwite insists Monday's prayer before the court was merely an update of the petition which was sanctioned by the JSC as a corporate entity when it sought to block the National Assembly from discussing the JSC. Mwite says he advised the Chief Justice of Monday's move. But legal experts argue that the decision to amend or update the earlier petition ought to have been approved by the JSC, which as of Monday did not have a quorum. JSC gives instructions to lawyers as a, as a corporate entity. It is not something that you can call an, an individual member of, uh, of uh, the commission over to just uh, uh, give, get instructions from that particular member. In his ruling, Justice Odunga directed that an earlier ruling barring the National Assembly from discussing the JSC still stands. The National Assembly has come under criticism for ignoring court orders blocking the tabling of a report and debate on the JSC. It turns out the orders did not reach Parliament. Parliament was never served with any orders. Uh, we have not received any. We are just reading it in the newspapers. The ruling by the court may add to the intrigues in the row over the appointment of the tribunal. And all eyes will now be on the Chief Justice to see whether he will form a bench to hear the JSC petition as JSC commissioners go back to work. Rita Tinina, KTN.